Hi, my name is Lexi and thank you for choosing Long Beach Marina. Today we will be covering the basics of how to operate a sea -Doo. First things first, strap on and secure your life jacket. All sea -Doo drivers must have the sea -Doo key attached and hooked to their life jackets. Located in this compartment is a watch to keep track of your rental time and a whistle to blow in case of trouble. In front of the steering wheel is a fire extinguisher in case of fire. When you're ready, plug the CDU key securely onto the handlebar receiver. As you will notice, the information screen is blank. To turn the screen on, hit the red start and stop button one time. The screen will turn on and say reading key. Wait for two beeps and you're ready to start the machine. We require at least four to five feet of water to start the machine, so absolutely no beaching or docking it. To go forward, press the right lever once. To go back into neutral, press the left lever once. To go into reverse, hold down the left lever and look behind you. To enter and exit the marina, be sure to idle straight through the marked channel. Once you are out into the open lake, you may use your throttle to go faster. To do this, squeeze the right hand lever. The more you squeeze the throttle, the faster the machine will go. You will have the best control of your steering and turning when you are squeezing the throttle. These sea -Doo's are very high-powered machines. Make sure to keep a clear distance away from any other vessel on the lake, including friends or family that may have rented sea -Doo's with you. Keep a clear distance from any marked rocks or shoals on the lake. The buoys will be explained to you before you leave for your rental. These machines are practically brand new, so we ask that you do not dock them due to the sensitivity of the controls. It is best to avoid docks in order to avoid damage. If you have any other questions about your sea -Doo, ask a marina employee. Otherwise, have a great time out on the lake.